All right, hey YouTube. This is uh, a shadow play Nvidia shadow play quality test. I'm gonna be recording a gameplay footage of a terrorist hunt mission uh, in Rainbow Six Siege. Let me show you real quickly what my graphics settings are right now. Textures are all the way up. Texture filtering all the way up. This is on high, shade and medium, shadow at medium. Reflection is on low just because I don't really like it. Ambient off, lens effect off, in depth of field is on. Uh, anti aliasing and multi sample anti aliasings are both off. Uh, we run at 10, 1920 by 1080. I have VSync off. See, my FPS is at 80 right now. Start, it goes up to 100. Yeah, it's about 100. Doesn't dip below 70, I don't think, at this settings. I can I can take it higher, obviously, but I just like it. I don't like the bloom effects, motion blur, the lens reflection. So I'm just going to be recording uh, a footage. This is not really to show how well the GPU can run this game or anything regarding the overclock of the GPU, which is overclocked, by the way. You can check out a video in my channel about it. This is more of a quality test of the NVIDIA Shadow Play itself. I suck at this game, by the way. Jesus, I'm so bad. Oh, that's a play thing. You can keep an eye on the top left corner for your temperatures and FPS and all that stuff. While recording, oh, well, there it goes. That's a good enough for the quality test, I guess. Um, the GPU went up all the way to 70 degrees, which is not nice at all. It's capped at 99% load, but we're never dipped below 70 frames in game at all, which is nice. Quality uh, looks amazing. I'm gonna see how it looks like after recording. Temperatures are going down, of course, once it's in the menu. And uh, yeah, this is just a quality test.